I spent $1,000 on TCG player. Let's see how it's doing. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. And today we're gonna be looking at the $1,000 I spent on TCG player. We're gonna see how those cards are doing about five and a half months later, not quite six months yet. We did this at the very beginning of 2022. I'm interested to see if we made any money at all. But first we have a giveaway. Since we're talking about TCG player, I'll be giving away a $50 TCG player gift card. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think about the investments that I spent on. What would you spend your money on if you had spent $1,000 on TCG player, etc.? So here is our spreadsheet. Everything we bought so a couple of them came in light play condition three of them actually well that was kind of unfortunate well this is the deck so it doesn't really matter that much here's what we have here's our original cost everything we spent we spent 1063 cents we're gonna check in on all the prices we're gonna start off with the blue eyes white dragon so we're gonna type in blue eyes white dragon i don't remember if they have like an ultimate rare it's really annoying yeah see look they have like random designation so if i didn't type in this utr part then it just wouldn't come up it wouldn't be an option so it's like you have to know specifically yeah they need to fix up tcg player group them all in the same thing so let's see what we're looking for we're looking for near mint i think was it near mint first edition no near mint unlimited and then light play first edition so near mint first edition the lowest i always do verified seller because some of these sellers are legit that don't have a check mark but some of them are not so we're just going to go with fry boy collectibles here with 9.99 that's what we're going to stick with on our price so let's go back here let's go uh near mint this is the unlimited so this one actually did go up so that's a good sign i figure that what we spent on this ulti was supposed to be near mint i bet the light play is not even close so we're probably going to lose all the money back on that so let's go back so we have light play first edition yeah so let's see if it had actually been near mint near mint would be 27 so yeah it would be 27 but unfortunately we got a lightly played version i could have returned it i probably should have i just didn't feel like it. so we're gonna go 10.99 it's barely more so we're definitely losing money on this one right now this is a factor you have to take into consideration when investing in cards on tcg player they might not come in the right condition you probably have to return them if you don't you're just gonna lose a lot of money like i just did right there basically the silent swords in level five this is the iconic one that took months to arrive it finally did arrive so let's see if we've made any money it was lightly played unfortunately but it's from flaming eternity so they're often lightly played stuff like that so let's check it out silent swordsman level wait was it silent swordsman level five ulti yeah okay okay so this card uh first edition lightly played 37 let's see if it was near mint near mint would be yeah 125 so like uh we would be doing okay if we actually got the right condition that we bought we would actually be doing pretty good but these lightly plates are really killing us right now so this is 37 10 so like this 87 that we paid is great for if it's near mint it's terrible if it's lightly played but i still think it's actually okay condition it's just flaming eternity is often very scuffed up so it's kind of hard to tell so we're not looking good so far the rest of these are near mint so let's see if we actually made anything number 17 leviathan dragon astral from brothers of legend let's see if this thing went up number 17 leviathan dragon where's the astral there it is okay to the very top don't miss that okay oh no is this really this cheap 64.94 wow you can get an astral card for 64.94 that was not a good choice for sure so we are looking really bad on our money right now guys this is not good we're four out of our 10 items through i think it's 10 yeah so uh we're gonna need to really step it up to even have a chance to break even so let's go with lightning storm i don't know if lightning storm's really gone crazy yet but let's see if it has lightning storm this this was our big one actually for the uh the starlight rare let's see if it's gone up it was at like oh look at that we finally have one that went up okay this is looking nice 363.95 og fats i think actually i've bought from multiple times on instagram so shout out to him let's go 363.95 or he's bought from me i should say 363 point nine five oh there we go that's nice a 65 dollar and 54 cent profit that's not gonna cancel out everything but it's definitely helping it with those silence from number 17 number 17 really killed us now let's go to the solemn warning okay ulti unlimited all right let's check this thing out ulti unlimited we paid 69 68 i don't know if it's gonna have gone up or not why do we buy an unlimited card i don't know if that was a good idea or not okay solemn warning ultimate rare we have what was it near mint unlimited okay so uh it looks like we lost if this guy had not listed it we would be fine but this EJ Gaming is really killing us right now. It's 63.69. There's one option. Basically, we're broken even other than that. Everyone else looks like it's actually gone up. So I think we're actually pretty even on this one, but we'll put 63.69 for now. All right, 63.69. Cool. All right, a dusted gold. Uh, I don't know how this one's done from Brothers of Legend. Let's go check it out. But a dusted gold, first edition, evil hero, dusted gold. All right, so it's out of stock. Is that right? No, maybe for unlimited. There we go. 
Okay, near mint is 748. So this one has also gone down. So a dusty gold being so hard to pull, it doesn't even matter apparently. It's still really cheap. I guess you only play one off in the deck. That was probably the mistake we made investing in that. Here's one that I have faith in, Elemental Hero Stratos, near mint ulti from the OTS pack. So let's go see what this did. We paid $149.99. I have a good feeling about this one. I think it went up. I think. I mean, I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing. I mean, we invested in it, so there's a reason we did that. Okay, I didn't see an ultimate. There's an ultimate rare. Okay. We have Okay, German. We're good. We're good. That doesn't count. $163.98. So it looks like it did go up a little bit. And that's that's pretty good. So we're up about 14 bucks on that one. That's not too bad. This can help us counteract. If you guys can see down here, we're still minus 278, but we have two cards to go. So that's fine. We could maybe break even. Next one is our last actual card that we have a deck. We have the Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon Ghost Rare. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon Ghost Rare. Let's see. This one was first edition. So, oh yeah, you can't put the dashes anymore, which is weird. Dragon Ghost Rare. Okay. Was it actually near mint? I can't remember. Yeah, it was near mint. Okay, that's cool. First edition near mint. Let's go. Near mint, first edition. Okay, that's Italian. $190. That's what I'm talking about. So we spent $138. This one's $190 now. So we're up $51. So it looks like we actually are going to go positive, even with these terrible ones right now. Assuming the Warriors Triumph isn't for sale at like 40 bucks. So we're going to go into the Warriors Triumph. I'm not even sure. Can you just search these decks? I don't know. Warriors Triumph. Was it first edition? Well... We can check if it's first edition. Here it is, right here. First edition Warriors Triumph deck. Pretty cool that we bought that. Let's see what else. It is now... Oh, that's not verified, so we don't count that one. Uh, he's also 97% feedback, not that good. 100%. This is what, this is legit right here. $115. And we bought this thing for $99. We would be breaking even on the other guy anyway. So it looks like, okay, that's pretty sick. We spent $1,000.63. We now have $1,027.12. So we've made $26.49. We're up about 3% on our money, which actually is not that bad for half a year. It's not like the worst thing ever, but it's not, I mean, it's not like, whoa, make crazy money. But uh, it did go up which is nice and if we didn't make terrible decisions with our leviathan dragon and then we also return these lightly played cards so these lost us a total between silent swordsman and blue eyes white dragon we lost about 65 dollars which could have been avoided just by returning the cards and then i think we actually would have made money if we'd gotten a near mint silent swordsman instead it would have worked out a lot better if i just you know bothered to return them and then leviathan dragon i it's probably a bad idea to go with this one. I didn't think it would get to 65. This is way lower than I thought it would get to, but I thought $100 was extremely cheap, 110 basically. So I have faith that eventually this card will creep its way back up, being a pretty tough card to pull. I never pulled it out of all the cases we opened. So I don't think that 65 is like realistically going to be the price for that long, even though it's not really that desired. So that could be really factoring in that. I mean, it's a rare card, but nobody really wants it. But overall, I am pretty happy about how this is going. I mean, this is not that bad for how bad it started, like when we looked through and we were losing a ton of money. I'm actually super happy about how some of these are doing. So if you guys are enjoying this kind of video and you want to see more, I'm considering doing something similar to this, but with more people involved. So if you want to see that, make sure to let me know in the comments. I'm really enjoying this. I think it's fun, even though we get to only revisit it like every few months, but it's still been pretty interesting to see how the cards are doing. I think I definitely could have made some better decisions. Let me know which cards I should have bought instead of these cards down below and then i'll keep those in mind for maybe a future episode shout out to tcg trust cards to info show tomato juice stanley mike nance mimic echo daxter you moose junior barring an untie show jt cho david fj josh evans clayton fitzgerald 87 and john nolan thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace